Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question. And the question says that Peter borrowed a sum of money and pays off two seventy dollars at the end of first year and seven twenty nine dollars at the end of second year. If the rate of interest is eight percent per annum, find the sum. We know that compound interest formula is amount A equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to power N. With this key idea, let us proceed with the solution. According to the question, we have to find the sum of money that Peter borrowed if he pays off $270 at the end of first year and $729 at the end of second year. And the rate of interest given is 8% per annum. So now, let the required sum of money be P. The rate of interest R equal to 8% per annum. As we know, amount A is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to power N. Therefore, after one year, amount is equal to P into 1 plus 8 upon 100 dollars, which is equal to P into 100 plus 8 upon 100 dollars. That is equal to 108 upon 100 P, which is equal to 27 upon 25 P dollars. Now, money paid at the end of first year is equal to 270 dollars. Therefore, the principal for second year is equal to 27 upon 25p minus 270 dollars. So by using the compound interest formula, the amount at the end of second year is equal to 27 upon 25p minus 270 into 1 plus 8 upon 100 dollars. That is equal to 27 upon 25p minus 270 into 27 upon 25 dollars. Now again, the money paid At the end of second year is equal to $729. So this means that 27 upon 25P minus 270 into 27 upon 25 is equal to 729. This implies 27 upon 25P minus 270 is equal to 729 into 25 upon 27. Now, 27 into 27 is 729 implies 27 upon 25P is equal to 27 into 25 plus 270. This implies 
27 upon 25 t is equal to 675 plus 270. That is equal to 945. So p is equal to 945 into 25 upon 27. Now, as twenty-seven into thirty-five is nine forty-five, this implies p is equal to thirty-five into twenty-five, which is equal to eight seventy-five. Hence, the sum borrowed by Peter is equal to eight seventy-five dollars, which is our answer this completes our session hope you enjoyed the session